Hello, uh, this is Hannah De Quincey, Artistic Director of Music National Theatre Company and I am beaming in to thank everybody who gave money to the Rocket Fuel Fund campaign. Thank you so much, it raised £405 and came in at a crucial time when I just didn't know whether funding was going to land that we'd applied for. We're very, very, very grateful that actually an Arts Council project grant has landed uh, for the most money we've ever received from a grant, uh, which is over £35,000. And also we've received a grant for um, from the Happy, Healthy and Active Holidays to help them, um, we can counsel towards uh, our Drum in the Forest work. Uh, so, it, you know, so phew, we're, you know, we're in a better position, but it's still this a huge balance of stuff and, and actually absolutely mattered that you gave money at that point. So I want to thank you all personally. Thank you to Carol and Peter. Thank you to Karen. Thank you to Beth. Thank you to Lisa. Thank you to Charles, my dad. Thank you to Rachel, thank you to Andy, thank you to Romy, thank you to Alex, thank you to Aunt Ali, thank you to Lucy Willis, thank you to Liz, thank you to Stuart, thank you so much to Akua, uh, thank you to Stephanie, um, I'm loving teaching Chloe by the way, thank you to Maria, thank you to Andrew, and thank you so much Andrew also for your support with your children coming back again and again to Drop the Forest. Katie, thank you to you. I just gorgeous to see your name, a childhood friend. Uh, thank you to Bryant in Canada. Uh, one day I'll get over to you. Thank you to Tracy. Um, I just so touched. Thank you and Greg. So all these people, thank you so much. And I wanted to share a bit of me as well to say thank you. So um, I am standing here at the Newvic Theatre and I'm by um, a commemorative. Um, is it a bench? Bench for uh, in, in honour of Peter Cheeseman. So. Uh, and Romy, um, who gave money, is actually a, a friend now, um, and he, he uh, I've met her through Peter. So Peter said of the, you know, the Masters in Theatre Directing that I attended in London, which gave me the dream of me to gash when I finished uh, my training in 2008, and I met him, I was very lucky, so he died obviously 2010, but uh, I really wanted to share that it's, you know, his example, um, who founded the Newbeck Theatre, and he was absolutely passionate uh, beyond belief about community and bringing people together through theatre. Um, I'm sort of wanting to carry that on through my work so I wanted to share Peter with you and obviously homage to Peter. I'm so grateful that I'm working with Kat who's doing the filming now through the Arts Council funding who um, I've got to know through the new Vic um, connections and I wanted to share a little bit more of me. I am a collector of oracle cards, I love them, I've got over about 20 and I really saw this one and I thought I must share it with those who give it to the Rocket Fuel Fund as we are now past the spring equinox, uh, so fingers crossed, um, you know, brightest, brightest skies ahead. The card is called the Second Bloom, uh, I'm just going to show it. It's a second chance, it's never too late, exciting possibilities, oh new possibilities. Um, these cards are so gorgeous. It's the Rose Oracle cards by uh, Rebecca Campbell, if you like the look of them. Uh, I wanted to share this one because for me, I'm in my early 40s, this dream I've had for so many years, uh, and it does feel like it's a second chance for me, a second bloom that, uh, you know, I don't know whether all of us have this sense where like, you know, who am I, what am I meant to be here for? And I feel like for me, it's coming together now. All of, all of the work I did in my 20s and my 30s, uh, and, and all my thoughts and ideas um, about how to contribute to coming together with the theatre company and I, I just thought maybe there are some people out there or all of you who are thinking hang on what's my second bloom so I just want to ask you the question which is on page 122 I remembered which is so basically you get uh, you know a lot of things to read I better not read the whole thing um, but it's soul inquiry is what unexpected thing wants to bloom within you. So there might be something fun you wanna do in 2024, or something that's really enriching. So ask yourself that question as a thank you, and I hope it's creative. Uh, it's a gorgeous paragraph, read the last paragraph. The more open we are to change, the more open we are to life. The more open we are to life, the more open we are to being born again anew. Yes, this is what it means to truly live. Being open to saying yes to life. So when you eventually take your last breath, you'll do so while still fully living. So thank you for watching and thank you very much for your support. Take good care.